Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. I just finished a reaction video for Scream, which, I mean, if you guys are watching my videos, you will have definitely, definitely, definitely seen it by the time that you're seeing this, because I have absolutely no idea when, when these are gonna make it to the Patreon, when are these are going to make it to the YouTube channel, I have no idea, but here we are. I hope you guys are doing great. I think I already said that, but you know, I really mean it, so why not repeat it? Um, I don't really have much to say before we start. I just sort of want to start. Um, I'm trying to remember what happened last time. Oh yeah, it was the fucking teacher with the... Um, she was a praying mantis. So, uh, yeah. That's what happened last time. Apparently I'm only four episodes into the season. I thought that I was farther along. And I was like, oh, I really need to like bang these out a bit quicker because I started watching this like three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. So I'm not as productive as I would like to be, but I'm also sort of juggling a bit. So it is what it is. You guys will see this when you see it. Um, and who knows if anyone's even gonna watch these. Literally, I don't. So yeah, anyways, guys, I I just want to get started. I burned my tongue not too long ago. I took a little break between Scream and this to eat some lunch. And I burnt my tongue on what I ate. So, yeah. You're getting the best version of me right now. <laughs> we have been properly introduced. I'm oh. Buffy, and you're dead. <laughs> What is that? I mean, it's a ring, but... What is it? I don't know. But it bothers you? Yes. Yeah, oh, is it not a ring? I best consult my books. It's Desia's book. And he will lead her into hell. Oh, like, oh, at least... So shall it be. It makes it so easy to know like who's a vampire by how they do the face, but they are not nice to look at. Aurelian shall greet him and usher him to his immortal destiny. As it is written, so shall it be. The anointed will be my greatest weapon against the slayer. If you fail to bring him to me, if you allow that girl to stop you, So I feel like this is gonna be like the end of the season baddie that we have to fight. End of the lesson. Okay, so based on the title of the episode, I feel like she's gonna date him and then have to kill him. It's just a guess. The vampires can like disguise themselves as regular looking people, right? I think that they can. I can't quite remember right now, but I think. What about this? On the inside, it's a sun and three stars. Haven't we seen that somewhere? Let me see. Have we? No, I, I don't think this um, represents any... Uh... Wait, it's right here. Sun and three stars. I told you it looked familiar. Hmm. Are they Order of Aurelius? Yes, you're right. Ooh, two points for the Slayer, while the Watcher has yet to score. <laughs> Owen, hi. What do you want? A uh, book? Oh. See, this is a school, and we have students, <laughs> and they check out books, and then they learn things. I was beginning to suspect that was a myth. <laughs> so, Emily Dickens, huh? She's great. Dickinson. She's yeah. good also. <laughs> Oh, Buffy. Don't tell on yourself like that. I didn't think I'd find you here. Why not? I, I didn't mean. I think you can read. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. You don't seem bookwormy. And I've offended you. No. Oh, well, I love books. I mean, I really love books. Buffy's into him. Don't think it's gonna go well based on the title of the episode. Fans. Yes, uh, she's quite a good poet. I mean, for a... Uh, a girl? Uh, for an American. I'll, uh... 
Do you have any more copies of Emily Dickinson? I need one. I think we should focus on the problem at hand. She's also a teenager though, not just a vampire slayer. Does this outfit make me look fat? <laughs> wow, he hardly talks to anyone. He's solitary, mysterious. He can brood for 40 minutes straight. I've clocked him. He, was so... <laughs> he reads Emily Dickinson? He's sensitive yet manly. But wait, you've never even read her. You vixen. <laughs> I think it's kale, or possibly string cheese. Mm. So Buffy had this lango last night. Xander. I mean, how the lango? No, I don't mean that either. <laughs> Owen, he's all alone. Maybe somebody should sit with him. Mm, just to be polite. It would be very polite. Look, an empty seat. Oh, oh. Cordelia. Let me get that. Oh my god. Uh, Boy, Cordelia's hips are wider than I thought. <laughs> at least you don't have to eat your soil and grain. People like wide hips in 2022. A bunch of us are loitering at the bronze tonight, you there? Who else going? Well, um, I'm gonna be there. Who else? You mean besides me? <laughs> Buffy, what about you? No, no, no. She, uh, she doesn't like fun. How about we meet there at eight? Yeah, eight. There. You love to see it. Just a bunch of people getting together. It's a very big deal. It's not. It is. Tell her. I'm afraid it's very big. Thank you. What has he discovered? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Boys. Boys. I'm talking about trouble. I've looked at the writings of Aurelius himself. He prophesied that the brethren of his order would come to the master and bring him the anointed. It says he will rise from the ashes of the five on the evening of the thousandth day after the advent of Septus. Well, we'll be ready whenever it is. Which is tonight. Tonight, okay. Well, oh, not okay. It can't be no. tonight. My calculations are precise. They're bad calculations. Bad. Buffy has. Is the boyfriend a vampire? Although the way that they talk about him. We have to stop him before he reaches the master. But cute guy, <laughs> teenager. The way that they talk about him it make me believe that Owen was a character or a person that existed within this school which would make him probably unlikely to be a vampire. But I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know what they say. 90% of the vampire slaying game is, is waiting. Mm -hmm. you couldn't have told me that 90% ago. Besides, there aren't any fresh graves. Who's gonna rise? Apparently no one tonight. Then I can bail? I can... Hmm. But I assume I don't have to warn you about the hazards of becoming personally involved with someone who's unaware of your unique condition. Yeah, yeah, I read the back of the box. <laughs> Good night. Well, something's Five about shall to go wrong. From the ashes the anointed shall rise. I was sure it was tonight. I think it probably is. I went on an airplane. A pale horse emerged with death as its rider. You will be judged. You will be judged. I mean, can't you tell that he's like really not that into her? <laughs> oh no. I mean, to me, that looked like a pretty innocent dance. Like, it didn't look like he was, like, into her at all. Plus, at lunch, like, he ignored her completely. Huh. Oh my god. Are you all right? Can you move? Well, that didn't go well. So you just went home. What was I supposed to do? I feel like everyone is staring at me. The big hideous dateless monster. What? Yeah, that's right. I have no life. Come on. There's nothing to see here, pal. <laughs> Move it along. <laughs> Poor guy. 
Sure, he's got a certain Owenosity, but that's not hard to find. I mean, a lot of guys read. I can read. <laughs> Where were you last night? Oh, my watch broke, and we don't have any clocks in our house, and so I didn't know what time it was or even what day it was. I thought I was the only one that happened to. <laughs> That's suspicious. <laughs> Lend you my watch. Tonight? You, you and me. Well, let's see. If I rearrange that and I, I push that to tonight. Sure. Tonight will work. <laughs> Great. I'll pick you up at 7. That's when the little hands there. Oh, <laughs> between the 6 and the 8. <laughs> the show's funny. I like the I like the dialogue. What? Me and Owen. Yeah. So it is. <sighs> I don't super trust it. Hey, how's it going? Uh, all right. That's great. I see we're still working on that anointed one problem. That'll probably take a few days, right? I mean, that's one obscure prophecy. Uh, yes, well, there are quite a few interpretations. So, tonight's looking pretty slow, right? Probably best to relax and regroup. No big disasters coming. That is so good. I will see you tomorrow, then. Bye! <laughs> she did not even give him an opportunity. <laughs> I love it. I'll be one step closer to freeing myself from this mystical prison. If she tries to stop you, kill her. Give your own lives, but do not fail to bring the anointed. I know you won't mm. disappoint me. Okay, do I want to appear shy, coy, and naive, or unrestrained, insatiable, and aggressive? <laughs> Oh, hey, here's something. It's gonna be like super nice, comfy. Yeah. Over <laughs> and it's because it's gonna be like full coverage. Okay, guy's opinion. Which one do you think Owen will like better? The red or the peach? Oh, you mean for <laughs> kissing you and then telling all of his friends how easy you are so the whole school loses respect for you and then talks behind your back? Xander. The red's fine. Thanks. I'll go with the peach. Just tell her you love her, man. Like. So where is he taking you? Oh, I don't know. Where do you suppose young kids go on dates these days? Well, I read somewhere once that sometimes they go to movies. Movies. Xander, no. I never knew being a teenager was so full of possibilities. That's Owen. Hi. Buffy's not home. My calculations may not have been as far off as I thought. Is it going to be tonight now? An accident? Out of the ashes of five shall rise the one. That's the prophecy. Five people have died. In a car crash. And we can... Jaws, why do you want to hurt me? I beg your pardon? Hey, you have a date. Yes, but I will return those overdue books <laughs> by tomorrow. No, you're not getting off that easily. Another date? Don't you ever do anything else? This is the first date. <laughs> There's never been a date, okay? This is my maiden voyage. You should probably know that Buffy doesn't like to be kissed. Actually, she doesn't even like to be touched. Xander. As a matter of fact. Yeah, Xander. This is the 90s, the 1990s in point of fact, and I can do both. <laughs> Clark Kent has a job. I just want to go on a date. Well, I suppose it was a fairly slim lead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and look, I won't go far, okay? If the apocalypse comes, beat me. I suppose I'll just uh, go to the funeral home in case, just see if anything comes up. We should. Go along. Yeah, you're right. I don't trust that Owen guy. It's the eyes. They're crazy. Sander, we should go with Giles. He could get in trouble. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> it's, it's, he's gonna be all right. He's like super librarian, you know? Everyone forgets, Willow. That knowledge is the ultimate weapon. <laughs> he's so, like, one-track-minded. Which I can really relate to. I hmm. don't get out much. I don't get that. It's my fault. I just find most girls pretty frivolous. I mean, there's a lot more important things in life than dating, you know? What is this guy's problem? Did I say something wrong? Yeah, you did. No. <laughs> if a teenager wants to date, they're allowed to date. And you're the one who asks her out on a date. Teenage girls, oh, so frivolous. Sorry, it just bugs me. It bugs me when I hear people shit talk teenage girls. 
because they just get the ire, like the brunt of the ire so much and they don't deserve it. Crimped hair. It is the 90s. Look at you here, all alone. Cordelia, I'm here with Buffy. Oh, okay. You Cordelia. want to dance? No, I'm still here with Buffy. <laughs> well, when you're ready for the big leagues, let me know. Okay, what is happening at the cemetery? I mean, something's gonna pop off. Oh, wow. Uh, time. We don't like that. Did not like that. Are you uh, having fun? Yeah. I almost feel like a girl. <laughs> this fucking guy in the background. <laughs> Uh, is there no other exits? Oh my god. Can you get out this window? I'm afraid not. Look, we'll get her. Just uh, hang in there. That door did not seem properly barricaded. Like, it seems like they should be able to get through it, like, any moment. What a disgusting display. Is that really <laughs> appropriate behavior in a public forum? <laughs> Ooh, hello, salty goodness. Pick up the oh, this is the guy. What's his name? Angel? Yeah, she's gonna be so jealous. Angel. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> what do you know? Prophecy, anointed one, yada, yada, yada. So you know, fine. I just thought I'd warn you. Warn me. You see that guy over there at the bar? He came here to be with me. You're here on a date? Yes. Um, Owen, this is Angel. Angel, this is Owen. Buffy! Well, look at this. They show up everywhere. <laughs> Interesting. You don't know the half of it. What's he doing here? I guess it's the same thing you're doing here. We thought it'd be fun if uh, we made this a double date. I didn't know you guys were seeing each other. Oh, yeah, well, we knew it would happen eventually, so we figured, <laughs> hey, why fight it? Hey, maybe we should all go somewhere together. You know what'd be cool? The Sunnydale Funeral Home. I've always wanted to go there. <sighs> the funeral. Actually, that sounds kind of cool. Do you think we can all sneak in? Owen. They seem to be having fun. Bite me. Why do I get such, like, bad vibes off of Owen. I thought we were going to the funeral. No, you can't. I'll tell you what. I'll be back in a little while. Buffy. No, he's like adamant on wanting to go and that seems... It seems fishy. Do you remember when you said I was like two different people? Well, one of them has to go. But the other one is having a really, really good time and will come back. I promise. Okay, so he is letting her go without him. Maybe my suspicions are for no good reason. Maybe I'm just like reading into too much. Damn it. This is so cool. Uh, Owen. He did come. What are we doing here? Are we gonna see a dead body? Possibly several. No, this guy is... Why are you here, sir? She said, I'll be back. Not follow me. Giles? Oh my Giles. god. Oh, he's on top of a body too. Ah! Brethren came in here. They came after me. But I was more than a match for them. Meaning? I hid. 
Okay, I just need to get Owen and the others out of harm's way first. Owen? You brought a date? I didn't bring him. Not on purpose. He came. Buffy, yeah. when I said you could slay vampires and have a social life, I didn't mean at the same time. I'll take care of it. We tried the office here, but it's locked. <coughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I don't know if you guys should be in the room with him. I don't, I just don't trust him. I don't trust him. I don't know. What are you guys doing? Uh, just in case. <laughs> what is that like little thing of flowers going to do? Oh my. I read a lot about death, but never really seen a dead body before. Do they usually move? Oh no, what the fuck? I have been judged. I'm, uh, I'm teetering back to thinking that the boyfriend is just a bit you know but not not a vampire i don't know guys i'm trying <laughs> to predict things in me. and this is probably a bad prediction so sorry if you've had to endure this bad prediction this entire episode What should I do? Um, go outside and make sure the others are okay. Buffy! Buffy gets thrown into things too often. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, was that just somebody's ashes? Sorry to the uh, family. Killed my date! <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's gonna see her kicking some major ass. You killed my date! Your turn! Well, that sucks. For you. Did he see? What happened to that guy? Oh. We scared him away. I'm sure this isn't exactly what you had in mind for a first date. Yeah. I was hoping maybe we'd finish up at Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> we still could. No. I, I think I'll just walk home. Uh, which way is home? I'll get you there. No. I'll, I'll go it alone. We'll make sure he gets home safely. Is he, like, afraid of her now? What just happened? I knew it. I totally blew it last night. Well, see, what you need is a guy who already knows your deepest, darkest secrets and still says, hey, I like that girl. I don't really know how to say this, but about last night. You don't even have to. I'm sure you were pretty freaked out. Totally. And I was wondering when I could see you again. Oh. Um. I think you're the coolest. Aww. I mean, last night was incredible. I never thought nearly getting killed would make me feel so alive. So that's why you want to be with me. Uh, when can we do something like that again? Oh, no, no, no. Walk downtown at 3 in the morning and pick a fight in a bar. How okay, you... Owen. Now he's a thrill seeker. Please don't take this personally. It's not you, it's me. Right. It's you. Great. Mm. That's, that's sad. As a teenager, like, not being able to live the life that you want because you also have this like other duty that people can't know about having to forego your teen years would be shitty. 
But he wants to be Danger Man. Yeah. Two days in my world and no one really would get himself killed. Or I'd get him killed. Yeah. It's for the best. I went to the funeral home of my own free will. And I should have been there. Buffy. I blew it. I have volumes mm. of law. I must say, as a slayer, you're, you're doing pretty well. At least I did stop that prophecy thing from coming true. And I would imagine the master, wherever he is, is having a fairly bad day himself. And in this time will come, she will not stop him. And he will lead her into hell. What? Welcome, my friend. Okay, was not expecting that. I was totally wrong in my prediction. I 100% was getting was getting weird vibes from the boyfriend. I thought that he was gonna end up being like a vampire or something kind of like you know how in the last episode the the supply teacher ended up being a praying mantis i was like okay this guy's seeming a bit shady but he literally at the end of the day didn't really do anything that was shady um so that was totally wrong i'm sorry i'm sorry that my prediction was so wrong because now it's on it's on camera, and uh, you guys potentially were able to watch that. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching this one with me. I am debating whether I'm going to film another one right now or whether I'm going to take a little bit of a nap um, after I feel uh, after I finished Scream. I just felt really tired. I feel like the movie took a lot of a lot out of me. Um, it was just like really high adrenaline, so I think I need to take a little bit of a rest before I continue, but um, I really want to just like get the season over with, and I can't believe I'm only five episodes in. I literally thought that I had watched more. Oh my god. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!